Hello and welcome to Digital Dorsey. It's Thursday again here at DX Engineering and it's time for another episode of Digital Dorsey. My name is Ken Dorsey. My call sign is Kilo Alpha 8, Oscar Alpha Delta. And we're finally getting back into the uh, Digital Dorsey swing after a uh, much needed vacation um, and a holiday. So we hope that uh, you all had a great holiday and hope you also all had a great Happy New Year. And this week we're going to just talk about about FT8 again on the uh, Raspberry Pi using the um, IC7300. Last time we talked about how you could use a signal link connected to the Raspberry Pi to do a remote FT8 connection. This week we're going to get the signal link out of the way because we now are connected directly to the 7300. So if you have a radio that has a USB port on the radio itself, like the 7300 that has the sound card built in, you can connect directly to the Pi. So basically, I have my Raspberry Pi here connected to a little battery pack for you know cell phone charging, whatever. It's running the Pi. The Pi is powered up. I have the Pi connected to the USB port on the back of the 7300. And we are actually going to bring up a VNC connection to the Pi. And that's a virtual network computing connection. If you missed my episode about setting up virtual network computing on a Pi, uh, it's out there. Please go out and check it out. I explain exactly how to get a virtual network computing server running on the Pi. So we're going to bring up the virtual network computing. And I already have a connection set up for the Pi, so I'm just going to click that connection. It's going to give me a warning that it's an unencrypted, unencrypted connection. That's OK. We're not worried about that. I'm going to key in my password, which I actually have set up for sake of this uh, demonstration as my call sign. So I'll throw the password in there. We're now actually connected to the Raspberry Pi. So the Raspberry Pi is on our Wi-Fi network. My tablet here is on our Wi-Fi network. We're connected directly to the Pi. So now I can go up to my Pi programs and find the ham radio stuff. Now I've already installed WSJTX on the Raspberry Pi. Uh, if you missed that episode of Digital Dorsey, I also have uh, an explanation how to set up WSJTX on the Pi. It's pretty straightforward, very easy to do. So we're going to launch WSJTX. And as you can hear in the background, we've got our FT8 going strong here. And there comes WSJTX. We'll wait for the uh, the brag screen to get out of the way here. It takes just a few seconds to get that out of our out of our way. Okay. And close that. And as you can see, WSJTX FT8 has already started. We're already receiving stations, and that's actually all of that's running now through the, the Pi, the Raspberry Pi. So, so that's FT8 running on the Raspberry Pi, remotely connected to the tablet with the virtual network computing connection that is also running on the server on the Raspberry Pi. So that's it, FT8 running on a Raspberry Pi, directly connected to the 7300. We're working a virtual network computing server, talking to the tablet. Now again, I could talk to a PC or a laptop, anything that has uh, that can run the VNC uh, application, and that includes uh, Apple as well. The iOS will uh, run VNC. Uh, anything that will run VNC, you can actually do this remotely with the uh, Raspberry Pi. That's all I have for this week. Thanks for watching. If you do have any questions, please contact us at uh, DX Engineering at dxengineering.com or Digital Dorsey at dxengineering.com. We'd love to hear from you, and we're uh, always willing to try to answer your questions. Have a good week, 73.